and I'm back with another video. So remember when um, I told you about a few weeks ago that I was going to order the photo organizer for my jury findings so I can organize them and then I could start, you know, working on some more jury. Well, when I made that order, the first time I made the order, um, the seller, because I was ordering off eBay, the seller didn't accept um, my card, so um, it, didn't, it never went through. So I waited um, for about an hour, it didn't go through. So I found another eBay seller and um, the last one was 30 it didn't go through. The second one that I seen, it was like $32 a change. So I said, okay, I'll spend the extra $2. And I made the purchase, it went through. And the seller shipped it um, about five hours later. I thought that was pretty quick. Um, I bought it at eight o'clock at night. Why would you be shipping it at two in the morning. It didn't make any sense to me. So I just waited. I waited. I said, you know what? Maybe it's the time change. It's coming from California. I know they're three hours behind from Florida. So I said, possibly. So I waited. Um, I waited about a week and I said, you know what? It said it should be, it should arrive by the um, 17th. Um, I made the purchase on May 30th. It said it should arrive by um, June 17th. So I waited, I waited. I didn't hear nothing from them. So um, later that day, the mail came I still didn't receive the package, so I sent them a message. And I said, hey, you know, I, I didn't receive my package. Um, do you know when it's going to arrive? Um, I got a reply and they said, oh, I, we apologize. Um, it got lost, right? My phone's dying. Um, it got lost in, um, during, shipping it got lost so I said okay possibly that could happen um, so I said okay um, he says do you want a refund or do you want to um, set a new one so I said okay um, just send me a brand new one so I waited I waited he said okay I'll, I'll let you know when I send the shipping label to you and you know your items could be on its way I said okay so because I got a, re a response, I waited. Um, a week went by, I still didn't get no shipping label, no email, I didn't even get the package. So I said, you know what? I think this person just took my money. And I told my dad, I said, you know what? I think I'm better off um, buying it in Michael's or Joanne's because I know, you know, at least I'm gonna get it. He said, no, because you're gonna be wasting your money, just wait. He said, it's on its way, just wait for it. I already knew, deep down, this guy is full of shit. <laughs> he took my money. So I waited. I said, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, I waited a little longer and I called eBay. I let him know what happened. He said, we're going to send him a notice. Um, they opened up uh, a thing, um, a response. And I, he, I never re heard a reply or anything from him. So I waited five more days because they sent the email to him. I still didn't hear a response. 
so I got an email this morning and it was like 4 30 in the morning and they said we still haven't heard back from you let us know if you um, work things out with the seller um, so we can send you your refund because you know time's running up so I called them 6 in the morning and there was a recording and um, they just they said they were gonna send the refund automatic within 48 hours so I should be getting it Saturday or Sunday maybe Monday it should be refunded to me um, I had blocked the seller so I wouldn't repurchase so after I did all that and after the um, refund was okayed, I decided, well, let me go through um, the feedback because there was like a hundred negative feedback. So I was scrolling through it and everyone just kept saying in the comments, did not receive item, did not receive item. Uh, no refund, you know, they, they didn't receive a refund, they didn't get the item, phony, don't buy from it. There was a lot of, you know, in like bold letters, do not buy from seller, phony, you know, fraud. And I was like, <laughs> I was just like in like shock because this has happened to me before a couple years ago when I went to buy a bead haul, it was a huge bead haul and it was $50 even free shipping and I thought that was kind of odd for so much and it's like free shipping I mean I thought it was kind of odd but I purchased it it went through and um, I got an email from the seller a message from the seller saying we didn't receive payment can you do it again so I did it again it went through again so this already this person had already received a hundred and twenty dollars from me right not even 24 hours later i get a phone call from paypal saying um that i owe them sixty dollars and i said wait i don't i haven't bought anything like do you like I haven't used any credit I don't know why I would be owing you sixty dollars I haven't used any of your money what happened was the person I was buying this bead haul from was committing fraud and took money through my PayPal account took it from PayPal um, they knew my account was under fraud because I had already talked to um, eBay. eBay had um, sent, had called me prior to me getting a phone call from PayPal saying that, look, um, there's fraud going on in your account. Um, we're going to lock your account down. You're not gonna be able to make any purchases um, I was selling on eBay. I wasn't able to sell anything. They completely shut my account down. So until it was resolved, this happened for about a few months to a year. Um, my account just kept coming up as fraud, you know. And um, what happened was this person took from my PayPal account. I owed. PayPal 60 and they knew this person committed fraud but because it was under my name and it was my account I had to pay them the $60 so not only did I lose 120 I owed them 60 on top of it so and then I went to my bank after I paid them and that's when I found out about the whole fraud and everything and they shut my um my bank account down they said we got to shut it down because then you're going to be owing the bank and you know once that happens you know you don't want to start owing the bank because you know then you're going to be in trouble so 
they shut my account down they gave me um a temporary card um i couldn't make any um i couldn't sell anymore on ebay with this card i couldn't sell or anything um and uh you know when i would make a sale it would go through my paypal account and then it would be transferred into my bank account i could no longer sell on ebay they took my card away they shut my account down um my ebay account was flagged under fraud um you know so because of that whole mess um when this incident happened I was like, oh no, it, it's it's you know happening again. Luckily this time I didn't have a bank account. I don't own a bank account, so you know, I didn't have to worry about that mess. And I don't have any PayPal credit, so I didn't have to owe that mess either. So luckily when I made the purchase, it was through a prepaid card and um he was only he only took what was on the card and that was it he couldn't take anything more so um it was only 32 dollars for the item and um i'm gonna get a refund so i mean if anybody else has gone through this i mean it's a mess um luckily it wasn't anything um it wasn't so much money to where it was like a complete loss but it kind of opened up my eyes to not buy from private sellers, you know, um, to buy through the warehouse of like, you know, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret. Look at where it's coming from, you know, if it's coming from the U.S., you know. So now I'm a little bit more alert, but that's why I haven't done a haul. That's why I haven't received my box, so because of that whole mess. So I might go to um, Michael's or Duran's and uh, purchase one and uh, get everything organized. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.